Hello my friends, welcome to this video, another video and this video I'm gonna tell you a little bit more, give you some hints and tips on these pretty awesome Team, team Raffi beat locks and I know this has a boom racing banner here which sh should of course be Team Raffi which I don't have so that's why I very quickly replace it by my 80s banner you didn't see that happen I have these beautiful, and I really I can emphasize this, these are really some beautiful Gemini beat lock wheels, high mass, bringing them up close to you for you to, to make a note of the item number. I should, my, my recommendation, really should check those out. Guys, however, you may encounter, and at least I did encounter such, uh, as I was trying to install them with uh, these team DC dual stage inner foams and this is a pretty affordable so solution copy or no copy so in this in this tire uh, this, this, this wheel I already installed it but you may encounter guys and I'm, that's why I'm going to bring this up close to you now guys, you may encounter, as you all know, how to install a beat lock. This is a very simple system and it works very efficient. These two halves should match one another and hold the beat properly. However, this goes in there, like that. Snug fit, no comments there. But, my friends, you may encounter, if you uh, take out the little bolts, screws, that those are a bit on the short side. And if you have to install it and you have to press really, really hard, you may find that it, it works, you know, I, I got these installed, but... <clears throat> may be a little bit too, too, too difficult. So that is why I ordered myself a little bag, 100 pieces of, and I bring up close you of the size. This is M22.5 European metric system by 10 millimeters. Uh, these are M2.5 by 6 millimeters. This, so this is just a little bit longer, which should make it easier for me to install these tires. However guys, in this tire I'm having a stock foam. I kept it especially for you as I'm going to try to show you the difference in running stock foams and running uh, dual stage foams with a closed cell inner like this one is. So let me first uh, install this uh, B-Log all complete. This is, this is this, this one is with a cl closed cell. Now, how am I going to tell which one is which? Well, because in there is a little screw. Where is it? Uh, right there. So you can see it. With the stock foam, I'm going to run that, that one without. Without this little screw. Just for me to tell the difference between the both. Taking my medieval knife here, per present from subscriber. Open it this bag up a bit. Positioning just a few of the screws. Four is enough for starters. All right, guys. My personal tip is I always keep keep one B lock wheel under there, just making sure it is perfectly aligned. Yes. Now the install goes so much easier. 
just to just due to the fact that I chose a few screws to be just a little bit longer. Now that I'm not already is holding the bead connected. Doing the rest, doing the rest for you off camera guys, as I guess you all know how this works, looks. Alright friends, here we are again. So just for me to tell that the difference between the both both the tires with a closed cell foam uh, dual stage and a regular memory foam, I already also removed the gap from this one and that one tiny little screw which I sh showed you before. Now you already may see the difference already. Um, and I'm gonna bring the camera really up close because I think you have to, to see this. Yes, I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe you see, and I'm, if I tilt both tires the same way, you may find that the close that the, that the that the wheel with the dual stage closed cell inner is just a little bit more filled. This one is higher than this one. Now I guess this all the dish shot also shows the bit that this tire, this is the one with, with the dual stage closed cell inner, is just a little bit higher. It has a more filling to it than the one with the, the foam. This one is more firm than this one. Now the next is a bit tricky as I, do, as I simply do not have the means to show this to you to show this to you in a scientific way. However, um, and that's have to emphasize this. this is strictly my personal opinion and if you talk to to, to comp guys who drive pitbull tires who drive all six tires you know some real a brand tires some important high rocks uh high racks, they say they simply do do not believe in an in a tire without a foam without any kick out of foam or an air filled tire and also that the, the biggest uh, advantage in uh, using a closed cell in a foam is the fact that he, and you see that everywhere on, on trails, people who run people who run in two foams too soft, that the tire, if there's a lot of pressure in it, but when they go in a normal corner, there's a lot of pressure. That they almost, they almost are driving at the edge, at the edge of the rim. Now I am not pressing all that hard at this moment. When I take, however, the wheel with the dual stage forms and the closed cell inner, I can press really hard, and there still is more rubber, more tread to the ground, more tread pattern to the ground. Than without a closed cell inner. This is just much more firm. So guys, back to the video. Uh, I'm a couple. Uh, I'm a, a couple hours uh, further in the day because I've been thinking how can I show you in a kind of scientific way that there is a difference in in. Um, in, let me just check. This is this is the one. This is the one with the closed cell inner, and this is the one without the hub cap and without the little screw, which has the regular foam inner. This foam, which comes from this tire, uh, and 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 suddenly, and I was some, and I was uh, like, uh, do, trying all kind of things. I, I had. This is my this is my my lipo box, the ammo case, which weighs about eight pounds, and I had it on the axle, and I was trying if can I see kind of a difference, but the results were not really reliable, and suddenly I I, know, I remembered that this is in fact a, a brand new memory foam. Both are new, but this is a brand new memory foam. And I, as I have learned through time, these types of foam 
during the months, if they get a little bit moist, if they, are, if they have been under the pressure a lot, they do tend to lose some of their memory function, some of their uh, uh, flexibility. So, I'm going to do this in a different way, guys. I'm going to take this over the, the, the next couple of months. Uh, by the way, uh, you're looking at my Boom Racing AR60 uh, RAID Bomber Excel, which is for COD rig. I had them installed on there just to do some testing. But I'm going to leave those two tires as they are. I'm going to leave this one as it is with the stock Pitbull foam. That, uh, comes with it. I'm going to run the rig with this tire, with this foam. And in a couple of months, I will uh, show you in another t test that the function has gone a bit. So, and then you will see the true, the true benefit of a closed cell dual stage inner foam because now the results are not reliable. And I'm, I simply do, do, do not have a surrounding environment where I can show this to you in a, in a scientific, reliable way. So I then I choose not to do it at this moment, but show it to you later. In a couple of months, I'm going to run this one on the rear left. Remind me, rear left. I will leave the little screw out to, to remind myself that this is the one. And then I will come back to you in a couple of, couple of months, guys. So until that mo moment, I thank you for watching. Uh, Please keep checking out my videos, check out the awesome Pitbull rugby tires guys, check out the team DC forms on the 80s website and don't forget to check out this, this pretty friggin awesome team Ravi, beautiful Gemini beadlocks and, that, and my tip of the day, these small screws which come pretty cheap. These are stainless uh, st steel, so, so I paid a little extra for those, so they cannot rust. Guys, I thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in future videos. Bye-bye.